The composition of the suspended platform. Suspended platform is consisted of suspension mechanism, steel wire rope, working steel wire rope, and safety steel wire rope. Hoist, working platform, electric control cabinet, and safety protection device, safety lock, and upper travel limiter, etc. The preparations before the installation. Quantity check. Check the quantity of spare parts based on the packing list and check whether the parts are abnormal. Separating. Separating the components of suspension platform and components of work platform. Separating the bolts and nuts of the suspension mechanism and the bolts and nuts of the work platform in the bolt box. The installation of the suspension mechanism. One. Carry all the components of the suspension mechanism to the appointed place. Carrying all the components of the suspension mechanism to the top of the building or the flat surface, which can be installed easily. Adjust the overhanging length of the front beam based on the real situation. Two, the installation of the front base. Insert the front plunger into the front base and make proper adjustments according the height of the parapet. Install two fixed bolts. Three, the installation of the front beam and upper column. Insert the front beam into the front plunger and determine the overhanging length based on construction plan. Generally, the overhanging of the front beam is about 1.3 meter. Install two fixed bolts on upper column. Four, the installation of middle beam and rear beam. Insert the middle beam into the front beam and at least overlap two holes. Then fix with two bolts. Insert the rear beam into the middle beam and at least overlap two holes. Then fix with two bolts. Five. The installation of rear base. Insert the rear plunger into the bare beam and adjust the height. Fix into two bolts. Then insert the other end of the rear beam into rear plunger. Fix into two bolts. Each connect area should have overlap at least two holes. Six. End pole should be installed at the coincidence of rear beam end and rear plunger. Fix two bolts. Put a reinforced steel wire rope go through the roller of upper column. Put a rope sheaf at the end of front beam and fix one bolt. Install the rope fasten device at the middle beam. Fix one bolt. Loose the adjusting screw to maximum and fix it to the pin of end pole. By the adjusting screw, fasten and reinforce steel wire rope to bend the front beam upwards five centimeters. Put the two separate 100 meters steel wire rope through the top roller of the rope sheaf and make it down to three to five meters. Carry the suspension mechanism to the front and adjust the position. Add the plank below the front base and rear base to protect the waterproof layer of the floor. Then continue to slowly put the main and auxiliary steel rope, two separate 100 meters steel wire rope, to the ground and stop it above the floor two meters. The main and auxiliary steel wire rope should be bent and go around the ear, inner part of the rope fasten device, and to be tied. The installation of standard suspension mechanism. Fix the two pieces steel wire rope on the rope sheave or old. Install the rope sheaf or old at the end of front beam. Install the front pole on the rope sheaf or old and fix one bolt. Put the reinforced steel wire rope go through the roller of upper column. Put the end pole at the end of rear beam and fix one bolt. Loose the adjusting screw to maximum and fix it to the pin of end pole. Put the reinforced steel wire rope through around the rope ring and lock the rope by three pieces of clamp. Here, need a direction of knot areas towards to the stressed part of steel wire rope. All three pieces of clamps have to be same direction, without forward. Between two clamps, knee distance of 10 cm or one fist. By the adjusting screw, fasten a reinforced steel wire rope to bend the front beam upwards 5 cm. Down the main and auxiliary steel rope, Two separate 100 meters steel wire rope to the ground and stop it above the floor 2 meters. Under the front beam about 80 centimeters. Fix the travel limit disc on the steel wire rope. Carry the suspension mechanism to the front and adjust the position. 
add a plank below the front base and rear base to protect the waterproof layer of the floor. Ordinary, the distance between the two steel wire rope are longer than the length of work platform about 10 cm. The distance between steel wire rope and working platform is about 60 cm. Tighten all the boards. Check that if the installation of the above components are correct, especially the adjusting screw and clamps, etc. Place the counterweight on the branches of the rear base. Insert the boards or using the redundant steel wire rope, go through the hole of the branches. Lock the hole with ring. Tie up the redundant steel wire rope and place it on the counterweight. The installation of safety rope. Tie the safety rope on the building, which can stand the pull of power more than 1,000 kg independently. The safety rope must be separated with the work platform. The installation of work platform. 1. Place the bottom plate. Put the three bottom plates on the flat ground, and the cross sections are aligned with each other. 2. Install the balustrade. Install the balustrade vertically to the side frame of the bottom plate and tighten them with bolts and knots. Align the connection joints of all balustrades, install them with bolts and knots, and make them straight. 3. Connect the bottom plate. Tie the bolts and knots at the connected area of adjacent bottom plate and balustrades. You can shake it tightly to make the hole align. 4. Install the installation frame. Put the installation frame at both ends of the working platform. Keep the roller side of the installation frame face to the inside of the work platform. Slightly lift the end of the platform or put something under the platform to insert the board. Install the other installation frame by the same way. The operation of getting through the rope. Put a red female plug of the electric cable into the red male plug of the electric control cabinet. Open the door of electric control cabinet and get connected to the power. Put a steel wire rope through among the rope limit wheel and rope block wheel of the safety lock. Then insert it into the top hole of the hoist. In the electric control cabinet, turn on the power change over to the side of the hoist which have not been gotten through the steel wire rope. Push the up button and the hoist can wrap the steel wire rope automatically. At the moment, you should pay more attention. Any emergency, we should stop the rope operation immediately. It will turn on the safety lock automatically while the steel wire rope in right position. Then insert the another steel wire rope into the top hole of the safety lock. Same row through operation for another hoist. Notice that the steel wire rope should be straightened before going through. No twist. After the steel wire ropes of both sides got through, wear the safety belt with right way. Install the self-lock device and buckle the safety belt. Leave the work platform about 1 meter above the ground. Install the heavy hammer on the steel wire rope with a height of 15 centimeters above the ground. Fix it clamp. Initial testing. Tie the safety belt. Fix the safety belt on the immovable and reliable object of the working area separately. The customer should tie the safety belt carefully based on related requests. Locking rope testing. Turn on the power change over of the electric control cabinet to the middle side. Leave the work platform 1 to 2 meters and stop it. Turn on the power change over to the left or right. To the work platform about 3 degrees to 8 degrees. The safety lock will lock the safety steel wire rope. Leave the low area of the work platform to horizontal. Safety lock will be reset. The safety steel wire rope will be in free condition inside the safety lock. Left safety lock and right safety lock will be tested by the above method. Testing without load. Lift the work platform up and down 3 to 5 times. Each time travel about 3 to 5 meters. Push the emergency stop to test the stop. Push any of the white switch of the upper travel limiter in the safety lock. The work platform can be stopped immediately. Location adjustment of upper travel limiter of the safety lock. 
leave the work platform to the highest height and put the upper travel limiter of the safety lock in proper location. Daily use and checkout. Check out before using. Check the work platform. Hoist. Look at the area of hoist and work platform. There should be no abnormal abrasion, corrosion, leakage, loose, and sealing off. Check the joint of the suspension mechanism. There is no fracture, corrosion, and should be strong. For the counterweight, need to be located right, no short. For the steel wire rope, need to be tied, no loose, no abrasion overly, and no fracture. Must replace the steel wire rope when it arrived the disposal standards. Have your hammer are installed correctly. The electric control cabinet, or plugs, control buttons, handle switch are reliable, and no risk of electric leakage. Safety belt and safety rope is in good condition. Electricity jack. No abnormal noise and vibration for the hoist. Electromagnetic brake is secure and reliable. No abnormal for the breaking of safety lock. During the operation, if the work platform is tile, turn on the power change over to the side of lower areas. Push the up button to lift it to horizontal. The height difference for two sides of work platform cannot excess 15 cm. When the white switch of the upper travel limiter in the safety lock touch the travel limit disc, push any of the white switch. The work platform can be stopped immediately. Push the down button. The work platform can be down slowly. Manual glide down. When there is no power during work, we should shut down the power switch. If we need to down the work platform to the ground, we may make the glide handle up for the two hoists simultaneously. The work platform could be down slowly as horizontally. The adjustment of electromagnetic brake. When the braking distance exceeds 10 cm for the stop operation, we should adjust the clearance of electromagnetic brake. Unload the housings of the motor, loosen the screw, adjust the clearance within 0.5 to 0.6 mm. Fasten the screw, check the braking and load the housings of motor. The displacement of suspended platform. When the work is finished in these working areas, and need to be moved to other working areas. We need to unload the heavy hammer, dispose of the steel wire rope from the hoist and safety lock, switch off the power, unplug the electric cable, move the suspension mechanism to new working areas, then install the suspended platform as the video instructions. The dismantle of the suspended platform. When the work is finished, and need to dismantle the suspended platform, we need to unload the heavy hammer, dispose of the steel wire rope from the hoist and safety lock, unload the electric cable from the main electric power supply, unplug the electric cable from the electric control cabinet, dismantle of the work platform, unload the upper travel limiter of the safety lock, unload the hoist and electric control cabinet. During dismantle, need to protect the electric cable, Loosen all the bolts and nuts of the work platform. Unload all the components and pack them based on the writing. Dismantle of the suspension mechanism. Pull the steel wire rope. Move the suspension mechanism to the middle area of the roof. Unload the steel wire rope and travel limit disc. Pad the steel wire rope with rope. Loosen the bolts and nuts and unload the all components. Unload the counterweight. Move all components from the roof. The transportation of the suspended platform. Stack the all components as organized. Keep the electric cable and electric control cabinet being away from compressive deformation. Storage. Keep it in dry, ventilated, no corrosion air warehouse.